Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to talk about recording guitar through the amp VIs as if you were recording a, a real guitar with a microphone. One thing that some people aren't clear about sometimes with DAWs is when you use an insert on a channel, uh, then it will only be playing back through that insert. It won't be recording through that insert. So let me show you at the moment, I've got this guitar channel. And if we turn it on, I've now got the, uh, just turn that down a little. So if I recorded that now, I'll just put it into record for a second. stop that and we'll play that back now and we'll turn the plugin back off and go back from the beginning and you might have found that now some people like that some people like the idea that you can track through a VI and, and hear it but you don't actually track with it now there is another way you can do this where you track it and it really tracks the guitar so I'm just going to undo that guitar part I've put down if we come to the left hand side of the console here in Studio One and hit inputs now you can see my guitar is coming in here one thing I always do is make sure I put a, an instance of tuner at the top and then there's a very can tune it very quickly if you expand it open so that's a nice little trick as well now here's the same guitar VI now but uh, on that side of the of the chain now so it's on the input stage so when I track through this guitar it's actually going to record it. it's going to commit to it it's, it's kind of recording for people who who want to commit and I think that there's nothing wrong with committing often everybody wants to fix it in the mix but I think putting a track together and actually hearing the sounds as you go is a much better way of doing it so let me show you that now so we're going to record that again Stop it there, I don't need to play the whole song for you. Now if we play it back now, you can hear it's now tracked it. It's committed, got it down. So, plug-in on the input stage is committed. Plug-in on the channel that you're recording on is not committed. So you've got the best of both worlds. So I hope that's been a, a helpful explanation of being able to commit plugins, especially on guitars and VIs and basses and stuff like that. Uh, and I like it, especially on guitars, where they say commit to it. So there we go. Plugins on the inputs and plugins on the channels. They work differently. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.